Hey everyone, Tio here. I finally have the Xiaomi Pad 6 and my artist review will be coming up soon. So if you have any questions for me for the artist review, let me know in the comment section below. Today we are going to look at the handwriting and note taking performance of the tablet together with the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2. This pen is not included with the tablet purchase and it's sold separately for US $50. At least that's the price I saw on AliExpress earlier. The pen supports tilt, slightly over 4000 levels of pressure sensitivity and palm rejection. There are two side buttons which may be customizable depending on the app you use. The pen is powered by battery and uses Bluetooth for connection. So to charge and pad the pen, you just put it at the top of the tablet here. Let me give you the bottom line up front. The hardware for the pen is fantastic for taking notes. So you just have to choose your preferred note taking app. And we'll look at the default note taking app on this tablet first called Notes. This app does not have many features. There are just a handful of tools for writing. The page management features are bare minimal. Yes, you can sync your notes to the cloud and that's pretty much it. So this is not an app I would recommend for note taking unless it's just writing superficial uh, quick notes or short notes. There are many more capable drawing apps and also note taking apps from the Google Play Store. And we will look at concepts first which is an app that I use for visual note taking and I love this app. This pen and tablet has pretty good latency for writing. So I don't really see the line trying to catch up with the pen tip. Latency performance is pretty good. This app can capture my handwriting quite well. The next app we'll look at is incredible. By the way, I'm using the tablet in landscape orientation and there is a big camera module behind. So if you are writing like this, the tablet is going to wobble and the tablet is also going to wobble if you have it in portrait orientation. I recommend using the tablet with a case to remove the wobble. The thin and thick lines you see here are actually applied by the software and not by pressure. This app is stable. Palm rejection works fine. So even if you want to write with your finger, you won't be able to do so. And you can certainly place your palm on the display while writing. This display is laminated. So there is no gap between the glass and the LCD. So when you are writing, there is no gap between the line and the pen tip. By the way, I've just placed the tablet onto the folio because the wobble from the camera bump is driving me crazy. This app is Microsoft OneNote. This app supports pressure sensitivity and is able to capture my handwriting quite well. There is very slight movement with the pen nib. So I'll consider this pen nib to be firm. I don't see the pen nib moving in and out of the pen. This pen nib actually has some resistance, which is good for drawing and it's still smooth enough for writing. So it's a good balance for writing and for drawing. I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but the app Good Notes is now available for Android. But at the time of making this video, it's only available for Samsung tablets. And this is subscription based. So I'm not sure if I would recommend this when there are other note taking apps that are not subscription based. Anyway, when you do a search for Good Notes from the Google Play Store, it will say here this tablet is not compatible with this app. This 11 inch tablet is quite a comfortable size to work with. And if you want to use split screen mode, you can tap here and tap here and choose another app to place by the side of the note taking app. So this is split screen mode and this is still big enough for writing. Let me just move it to the right side. Oops, now it's in the floating window mode. And now we have the note taking app on the right side. 
All of the note-taking apps that I have shown you, I was only able to customize the pen's side button shortcuts with the default Xiaomi Notes app. I will give the Xiaomi Pad 6 and the Xiaomi Smart Pen Gen 2 an A plus for writing and note taking performance. In terms of value for money, I think this tablet is really worth the money for US $350 and the pen is another $50. By the way, if you guys have intention to buy this tablet and pen, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below to help support my channel. I get to earn some commission but at no extra cost to you. Oh. One last thing before you go, the drone performance of this pen is good but there is a quirk and I will talk about that in my artist review which is coming up soon so watch out for that video. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Bye!